boat is sitting on 70,000 for the Supreme. 78. 78,000. That's retail cost. That's retail. If you want to know, it's 200. That's retail, though. 60,000 for the go yard on the bottom, right? 34, but shit, we could say 60. Oh, 34,000. Uh, <laughs> 18, 18, 44. And 44,000 worth of luggage right there. And this is the only way I'm comfortable. This is just like it's a cozy seat for me. It's just how, it's how I get cozy. I told, I told Wallow and Gills to spot it. We really relaxing and chilling. I don't got one necklace on. Right. It's called a spa day. And you yeah. got 600 on the wrist. Yeah, that's, more that's, than, just I, I, sorry, that's just two diamonds. I'm sorry, more than two. That's just the two braces. Yeah. That's just the two yeah. braces. We ain't yeah. talking about the pink diamonds. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. Hello. Another 300 in the air. Yeah. Mm. Or 400. Yeah. Well, it's a spa day. Who's counting? Yeah. A spa day, just relaxing, huh? We ain't going to talk about it. Uh, 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 how many carrots is that in the teeth? 16. <laughs> Uh, and they, they flawless too. They not BS, not BBS. Flawless down. <laughs> Stupid. A lot of paper going on. How much of that is uh how much did that come from music and how much of that come from uh outside of music? Because a lot of people don't most of it came from outside except for like uh the the diamonds in my teeth. You know what I'm saying? That, they, that was a million, so that came from some some a little here and here and there, here and there. Boat is sitting on. Seventy thousand for the Supreme. Seventy-eight. Seventy-eight thousand. That's retail for the cost. That's retail. If you want to know, it's two hundred. That's retail though. Sixty thousand for the go yard on the bottom, right? Thirty-four. But shit, we could say uh, 60. Oh, 34,000. Uh, <laughs> 18, 18, 44. And forty-four thousand worth of luggage right there. And this is the only way I'm comfortable. This is like it's a cozy seat for me. It's just how I get cozy. You know, I told I told Wallow and Gills to spot it. We really relaxing and chilling. I don't got one necklace on. Right. It's called a spa day. And you yeah. got 600 on the wrist. Yeah, that's more that's than, just two uh, diamonds. I'm sorry. That's more just than the two, two braces. Yeah. Uh, that's just the two yeah. braces. We ain't yeah. talking about the pink diamonds. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Hello. Another 300 in the air. Yeah. Mm. Or 400. Yeah. Well, it's a spa day. Who's counting? Yeah. A spa day. Spot just day. relaxing, huh? Yeah. We ain't going to talk about it. Uh, 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 how many carrots is that in the teeth? 16. Uh, uh, and they, they flawless, too. They not BS, not BBS. Flawless down. Uh, uh, <laughs> stupid. A lot of paper going on. How much of that is uh, How much of that come from music and how much of that come from uh, outside of music? Because a lot of people don't... Most of it came from outside except for like uh, the, the diamonds in my teeth. You know what I'm saying? That, they, that was a million. So that came from some, some little here and here and there. Here and there. Boat is sitting on. Listen, man. My man's got a million dollars worth of luggage, man. That's a million dollars worth of luggage, man. More like about a couple hundred thousand worth of luggage, but it's just crazy, man. Um, listen, man, I'm a proponent of do what you want. It's your money. But, man, if you think this ain't what niggas going to do with rep when they get reparations, you a goddamn fool, man. You have no knowledge of the Negro. If you don't know that when niggas get reparations, this is what they're going to do. Press one. You have no knowledge of the Negro, man. When the Negro get reparations, this is what he's doing. This is why the majority of NFL players and NBA players that are black go broke.
the majority of NBA and NFL players are getting caught up in scams and going to prison, getting caught up in healthcare scams and shit like that and going to prison five, ten years after they're out of the league because they've created this lifestyle while they were playing. And now that the, and once the checks stop, they don't know how to – they didn't save. They done bought a bunch of trinkets. A lot of black NFL players, NBA, are broke, man. Four more contributors to um, drop the link, man. Shout out to DH, man. He became a member, man. Is that reparations for mulattoes only? <laughs> this is what the son man doing when he gets some money, man. I can't even knock this dude. He looked like an African king, though. <laughs> this nigga looked like like he looked like he like if this dude had a kingdom in Africa. If this dude had a kingdom in Africa, man, this is what he would be doing, man. He will be living like a king while the people starve. That's the story of Africa. While everybody talk about the white man, like when you hear um, pro-blacks and shit talk about the white man, you can tell they never been to Africa. You can tell they know nothing about African history. You can tell they never read a book on Africa. They never watched the documentary. This is this how, this how crazy some people is. All you got to do is watch a documentary nowadays. You don't have to read shit. Watch a documentary on any African leader. Any one of them. And I mean any one of them. There's not one that didn't take all of the money, all of the coffers, the country's coffers, and live, I mean, ridiculous. Ridiculously lavish while the people suffer. White people got to go over there and dig wells for niggas in countries where the fucking president is flaunting around the globe being known as one of the wealthiest men in the world. And white people got to come, white YouTubers got to come and dig wells for the people. You got white YouTubers coming to African countries digging wells for people where the countries got, where the countries produce more oil than many countries in the world. There's countries that produce, that are in the top, 20 or 30 countries in the world when it comes to oil production where white YouTubers got to come and build wells for the people. We need um, three more contributors to drop the link, man. Three more contributors so I can drop the link. Yeah, man. Mr. Beast and all them other people going over dig wells. The country they're digging those wells in produce oil that's in your fucking car. Produce cobalt, cocoa, the chocolate that you eat every day. And a YouTuber got to go over there, a white YouTuber got to go over there and build well. 